So color correcting your photos and videos is one of the best ways to bring them to life and to give them unique style. But a lot of times it can be challenging and time consuming. So I'm here at the Grayscale Gorilla booth with Nick talking about their solution. Coming up. Hey, what's up guys? Sean here with Think Media TV, helping you go further, faster in media. And we're here at NAB at the Grayscale Gorilla booth with the founder of Grayscale Gorilla, Nick. How's it going? Good, good to see you, man. Thanks for coming by. Great to see you as well. Now, Nick and I have known each other for quite a while. In fact, recently we were just snowboarding and skiing out in Utah. And actually, on this footage that you're seeing, we used the Grayscale Gorilla LUTs that we're going to be talking about in this video. But first of all, let's break these down and talk about them. What are the LUTs and really who are they for? Yeah, so LUTs is a really simple way to color correct your footage. We think that there's no piece of footage that should go out raw. You need to bring it into Premiere, Photoshop, wherever you get your editing done and really do your color correction. There's a lot of people though that don't have time to always really tweak it. So we created a hundred LUTs that are designed specifically for that process all the way from really subtle looks to vintage looks to really heavy handed looks to give your, you know, your footage the impact that it deserves. Absolutely. So basically what you would do is you could take uh, the LUTs and then you download them into like Adobe Premiere and then it's really easy to start tweaking and making adjustments to your footage. And so we actually were testing these out ourselves on this snowboarding footage. And one of the amazing things was we were using an action camera and when it was overcast out, things were really dull, were really gray. And so when we added these, it allowed them to start to pop, to really become, be vibrant and give us a lot of flexibility to make the footage look awesome. And that's kind of the idea, right? Yeah. Absolutely. I think a lot of people will be surprised, even on footage that they already think looks pretty decent, it's lit well, you know, good contrast. Uh, if they start playing around with LUTs, you'll find, you'll find something that looks good and then you'll remove it and go, oh, we thought it looked good, but now it looks way better. So we encourage everybody to experiment with color correction because that's the way you go from something that looks good and decent to something that looks broadcast quality. Absolutely. Now, what does the, uh, do your LUTs work with? What software programs uh, can they work with? Yeah, so we have a full list on our website, but the big ones are Premiere, Final Cut, uh, Photoshop, Nuke. Almost any compositing program will bring them in. They also render really fast, and that's key for us is we want to be able to add really nice looking color without having to wait for it to render or wait for it to process. So if you've ever seen footage kind of like, you know, Visco Cam and some of these brands that are out there, people have that certain unique style, certain unique vibe to their footage. You can actually do that with these LUTs and then you could save it. You could use them across your footage. In fact, on Think Media TV, we've been doing it on a lot of our videos, just like some simple tweaks, but that way we could create some consistency, even if I'm just at the office talking at the desk in front of some computers. So let's talk about the investment, but I, of course, asked Nick too, if we could do something awesome for the Think Media community. So we'll talk about that. But like, to get these LUTs, what's the investment? Yeah, absolutely. They run $99 and you get 100 LUTs. And these are essentially the 100 looks that we've used in production for over 20 years professionally. The things that we would do to our footage over and over again, we wanted to package them up and let everybody be able to use them. So they're less than a buck a piece and you could put them on anything forever. That's super cool. And I asked Nick before if we could do something cool for Think Media. So if you want to use the promo code Think Media TV, you can actually grab 10% off of the LUTs as well. So we'll link everything up in the description below. But a great solution, again, to get that cinematic vibe, to get creative styles, or to just small, make small tweaks to footage that, that's sometimes kind of like what we do. It's not necessarily cinematic, but we do want popping colors, popping contrast, fill in shadows, and have more control over our footage. Absolutely. If you've ever wanted to experiment with color correction, but you didn't want to invest the time into really figuring out something like curves or a really professional, you know, three color uh, wheel, then you try out LUTs. I mean, even people that know how to color correct reach for LUTs first, because if you could solve it in seconds instead of hours, why not? And that's a great point. That's one of my favorite things. You mentioned how fast they were because they're not like render intensive because it's changing numbers. I don't know the tech speak, but once you throw them on there, your footage still scrubs and edits fast. Why is that? So a LUT is a lookup table. And so it's a really simple way for any piece of footage to come into a system and say, okay, what do black pixels look like? Uh, there's, take it for example, a lot of looks include this lifting of the blacks to kind of pull out some shadows. So imagine an algorithm that says, okay, instead of a, just a black pixel, let's change it to a slightly more gray pixel. And all it's doing is comparing each input 
for each pixel and saying what is now the output. So it's literally doing that math. So that's why they work really quickly. You could just bring in any piece of footage and it's instantly going, okay, white pixels are now this, blue pixels are now this, red pixels are now slightly oranger. And then that's how you start to warm up or cool down your footage in really subtle ways and really fast ways. Absolutely. So, you know, simply put, we brought the LUTs in on a, my laptop, I'm on a laptop video editing PC, uh, ye 4K footage, so 4K footage, but it doesn't slow down the rendering or the scrubbing really at all. And you can even do some heavy adjustments because of basically what you described. I don't know how it all works, but we know it works fast. So hey guys, we wanted to take a quick break during the interview to actually show you some of these LUTs on footage that we're going to shoot right now. And I'm actually here with my friend Traveling Jules. How's it going? Hey guys. She's an awesome travel vlogger. We'll link up all of her accounts in the description. But let's actually jump into that footage with you right now. And what we'll do is we'll show you what the footage looks like before the LUTs and then after. So you can check everything out in the description below, and if you want to grab 10% off, you can use the promo code THINKMEDIATV. But talk about everything you guys are doing in a nutshell with Grayscale Gorilla, where you're at, what you're doing on social, and how people can get involved. Yeah, absolutely. So Grayscale Gorilla is a 3D training site. We help motion designers get their job done faster. We've built tools all the way from lighting to texturing to LUTs to help any motion designer that wants to create motion graphics get their job done. So if you are interested in 3D animation, maybe you're an After Effects user, you've always wondered more about flying logos and type spinning around, that's our industry. Uh, that's the industry that I come from. So our goal is to help make your job easier if you've always wanted to experiment with uh, 3D After Effects, come visit Grayscale Gorilla, watch our training, check out our tools, and we're here to help you guys. Thanks so much for being on. Thank you. Good to see you, Sean. Question of the day. Do you make any adjustments to your footage? Do you do brightness contrast? Are you doing color grading? Are you using any software for it? Let me know in the comments section below. So thanks so much for checking out this video. Click here to subscribe to Think Media TV so you don't miss any of our coverage from NAB. And also you can see our entire playlist right here or we'll link it up in the description of all our NAB coverage. Until next time, Think Media TV is helping you go further, faster in media. Keep crushing it and we will talk soon.